You're younger, you, you want to know, you want to see everything, you care what this person's doing, what that person's doing, and, and it's got to a point, I guess, I've just outgrown it, you know, and I don't really care what anyone else is doing. Killer, killer, podcast, killer, killer, official, dot com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Killer Keller Podcast. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. We are live in direct central London, as you should be, could be, you don't even want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, not at this time of the morning anyway. Um, we are inside the venue, the place to be, um, with a hip-hop spokesperson, graffiti artist, a connoisseur of the culture, an all-round good fucking egg. TRC, PWS, I mean, he'll list them off. We got him here, the man like Hope. How are you, my brother? Cool, man, cool. Good to see you. How's, how's, how was your trip? How was your trip over? Because you, you ain't local. No, no, I'm not local, but uh, I'm in the area a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right in yourself. Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, the weather's been a bit harsh lately, but uh, it's a funny period. But yeah, yeah I'm all good. I'm good. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, when you when you break down the, the the and we did kind of allude to it just before we went on. We did have a kind of quick debrief and a chat. Um, you can get in trouble for uh, walking down the road at the moment for a cup of coffee. It's almost like a uh, a, a, a bit of a movie of a, a police state time, you know, yeah. something like like a. Yeah. I mean, it is a lockdown, but um, it yeah, it's. Uh, can be almost a bit extreme. It does feel a bit extreme. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of a lot of fear. You know, just uh, from now from from those employed to um, to uh, restrict laws or, or Im- impose laws on us. Impose heavy laws. Are, yeah. are actually in fear themselves. You know, so. You think so? Do you think that's a that's that's a. Uh, yeah, I think there's certainly a, a, an element of that in the air with mm. with law enforcement. Yeah, totally. Yeah, um, I never thought about it like that. But but yeah, I guess it affects everybody they're, and everything. Well, they're, <laughs> the law enforcement are being controlled, right? They have their yeah. orders. Yeah. Then, you know, it's their job to basically give up their free will, right? Yeah, that's you right. know, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. sign up for something. It's like joining the army. You mm. know, you 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 sign in your free will away to take. Whatever orders are going to be given to you, yeah, you know, that's pretty mad, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, our free will could could be described as being limited anyway, couldn't it? It's as as there, a no, yeah. as a normal person, we yeah. these these laws are, are man made, but in in by by governments in different countries, and uh, we so our free will is all, is already yeah. uh, kind of limit limited, yeah, compromised or or limited in in a way, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. You know. Do you, I mean, we're jumping into the, we are jumping into this pretty intense to begin with. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is what's going on right here. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. But, but as graph writers, right, you guys work within a certain outer reaches of radar that, that I can't imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't imagine any sort of restrictions being of any significance to how writers work. It's not, it doesn't really, they, they, they're off, the, they're off yeah. the radar, right? Yeah. Um, something that, that, that comes to mind there is, um, I think, is... Uh, one one thing in graph, especially if you if you if you're practicing illegal graffiti or, or um, is that I think it it draws the freedom of spirit out of you mm. because you in in things you do or or um, or expeditions you you go on or uh, you know experiences you have. Mm. Through through going to do certain things, take 
actually, uh, you walk through walls of fear. You you grow as a person. You you overcome things. You know, yeah. physical limitations, m mainly mental uh, mental barriers. So maybe if you're entering a location yeah. to paint something or of going on on a mission of, of overcoming loads of hurdles to get to to get to somewhere to do something yeah. you you it's it's having the courage to do that and breaking through it's boundaries lot, of fear yeah. grows you as a person and 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 certainly um would blow away um limits mm. mental limits you know that, that that you you would have as a person which makes you more more free absolutely so free. does that make sense oh at all? mate we have only just got started <laughs> this is gonna be fire okay for so listen for those of you that don't know like i mean you know we're talking about uh, in retrospect here this well, is uh, just bit, i'm just i'm just a normal writer man really um but i'm just a writer and 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 the way the way graffiti culture is now I think I'd even be put in a box as being a purist you know yeah because there's so many factions to graffiti and whatever you want to call street art or subcultures within a subculture you know and yeah and, and I'd be boxed as a purist I, I do graffiti traditional graph yeah and I and I and uh I think um I was kind of brought up by elders that you had to do it all. Yeah. Whereas now you can just do one element. You can just paint a legal wall. You can be a muralist that does commissions. You can be just a, a train rider. And you dig it all. Paints... I mean, you dig it all, don't you? Well, I, I do I do dig it all, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I'm a, uh, uh, yeah, I do. I appreciate all elements of it, canvas work and the guys that paint the trains. I think... I think for for me personally, that does more for me to see these guys that yeah. do that still to you know paint properly. You know, yeah. That for me is uh, is um, super important. Yeah, and I understand their experience and why they do it. Okay, I know maybe some some developed guys that can paint good pieces and good murals. Look at look at what some of these young guys paint on trains and frown upon it, you know, mm. saying, oh, it looks shit. Excuse my French. Uh, you know, that's whack. Oh, that's crap. I could... Yeah, but... <laughs> mm. These these young guys, uh, you know, or, and even older guys that maybe still do it, you know, there's the, the experiences and, and, the, and the effort that goes in and and the risk that's taken mm. is for me means so much more yeah. than I appreciate seeing a nice mural. I love art anyway, and yeah. I always have done since I was a kid and and all all types of art but I think um growing up and looking obviously at at the hip hop side of graph coming from new york and and it being on the subway cars yeah and yeah. Especially for me, uh, as a youngster, seeing old school London, coming to London when I was a kid, the tubes were destroyed. You know, the, every every line had stains on the old grey tubes. You Is know, it like they, steel injection. It had that kind of well, to that yeah. Extent. Well, steel injection only caught a tiny percentage yeah. of of what what actually went on. You know, it's a great documentation. Um, obviously, technology. And cameras are better now, so you see that old footage. Mm. It's it's just one snippet of a period. There was mm. much more to mm. to it than that. I mean, uh, explain know. more. Expl give, give give us a kind of visual well, description of, of what you know coming into London and what 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 what, what was. Well, when I when I first coming to London, I was quite young. I was bought by an older writer from my area. He took me to Covent Garden and. Um, Travelling on the underground then, there was almost like, even then, there was different scenes, you know? There was mm. like insides, outsides, 
you know, pieces. Mm -hmm. Tracks, are, you know, some people did it all. Some, mm -hmm. pe some, some writers were just focused on pen tags on the inside, inside stainers, yeah. you know. Um, idea was a lot about that. He, yeah, uh, but before idea, you know. Really? My, yeah. my memories, yeah, yeah. I'm not taking anything away from anyone, but no, I mean, no, no, no. you know, before that, I think... There's too many names to mention, you know. Yeah, you don't and want to miss anyone out. Nothing no, like that. man. But uh, that that really was a, a, a amazing vibe to 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 grow up in and see. Now, you know, there's no. I noticed a few more insides recently yeah. popping up, which yeah. is fantastic, and um, and even actually one one writer I've seen is 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 hitting outsides of BRs with uh, with staining pens. I've seen a lot of recently. Mm. I've seen myself in the flesh on the southerns and uh, I totally understand where that guy's coming from, you know, because it's like that. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's at, really, you know. Mm. Yeah, bring it, bringing it back. Yeah. You think... Um, <clears throat> you think it mirrors a, uh, a sentiment... The, the state that the country's in for those kind of risks to be taken and those kind of activity, you know, like the, the stainers and things like that. Do you think it'll go back to like the the nineties, the uh, the late eighties, well, as far well, as that's some, concerned? Some some guys still rack up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's quite mad because they rack they rack up the new brands that are made for writers that are on sale, but they'll rack, they'll go racking, you know, wow. and and yeah well that's that was all part of it you know and, and to some to some guys it still is for sure um and for for me personally it was a major part of it you know i would spend a lot of my time shoplifting paint <laughs> pens whatever whatever was around mm. camera film yeah obviously didn't <laughs> coming from a real poor family anyway we had no, I had no money so that was the only option and, and I guess certainly back in those times you, you didn't you couldn't buy your paint if you were a writer I mean, morally you we couldn't didn't, yeah. no way man yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get this badly you get robbed you get cussed you, 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 you get fucked off out the scene you know mm -hmm. you get you know yeah for sure of course modern times Mm. Have, have brought different people into graph and, and street art has, has certainly opened up. Uh, I was going to say for normal people, <laughs> not normal people for to to get involved yeah. in 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 doing art on walls. Well, it's kind of a, a one way of putting it, I guess. Did but, you uh, go public? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so they don't have to go shoplifting to make their mural. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but but there are guys for sure that still. Rack up, and, mm. and they're professional, and it's also professional. You know, I mean, I used to find it really exciting. It was a massive buzz. Yeah, well, come, you, you know, know. <laughs> the, the, the endorphing levels and that alone. Yeah, like, totally, oh. man. And and not only that, when you you know you go out racking on a Saturday, and what you what pe what you painted that night is what you is what you acquired. So your color scheme mm -hmm. was what you could get. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. so 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 uh, for for writers. Back then, your piece was judged as well, mm. and not just uh, style, but the colours you had. People automatically knew what you'd racked, what if you'd racked certain brands of paint. You know, well, so you could tell yeah, just yeah. by the colour. Yeah, of course, man. You you, you know, because we, you know, English car paints. There was no pinks and lilacs, and but. You know those 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 paints were German paints, and, mm. and only certain shops had them. And and your piece held more weight if it had these colours in because those brands. Whoa. Yeah, well they were expensive, you know. So, yeah, so you were basing it. So, oh yes. Yeah, so so wow, it was. It, it, so now that element is gone because you can get shades of everything. Yeah. In in whatever brand you're going to choose to paint your piece with, mm. you, that that element of the piece is gone. So it's a, there's a massive magical element missing yeah. in modern graph. Yeah, 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 I get it. That's actually... Does that make sense? Absolutely, and it's blown my mind because, you know, I get it. Like, there's the there's the, the act that's prior that leads to... The, we just, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you just said there about, you know... But much more so then. Yeah. And to think that, to, to the detail, like, 
you guys, particularly back then, would look at the, look at a piece and you'd look at the colours and know directly, I, and arguably you would know the colour, you'd know you'd know how hard it was to get the colour, and you knew it was racked. You may have probably known where they got it from, yeah. and they knew you knew how There's hard it was. There's possibly if you if you were local to that person, you'd for know sure. how hard pe- it was. People used to travel far and wide, you know. To, to certain shops and discovering shops that held certain brands was, was not was knowledge. I've never I've never had that conversation on here before, and I've never had it, it explained. It was like that it was knowledge of plots, you know. So that so that made your credibility as a writer. It, this no longer exists as as a, in a modern. I'm not saying not all modern day writers. It does. Uh, there are a percentage of modern day writers that still go racking paint and still mm. uh, still living that, that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, which is which is a totally totally. Uh, yeah. So they. Yeah. But that, you know, uh, I guess, and not, and there's there's more to it then because to to actually know, of of spots. Mm. To paint a wall in the daytime, yeah. you know, because uh, once upon a time there were no legal walls, you no. know. I mean, there wasn't any. No, <laughs> no, no. You know, and, um, you know, there was places you could paint that were tolerated. Maybe you wouldn't get any trouble. But, I mean, to have knowledge of spots to paint a wall, to have knowledge of spots to paint mm. a train or a tube or, or um, a trackside, it, it would all added. a... Uh, uh, to your whole being as a writer, you know. Like a a repertoire. And it's still, yeah, yeah. It still does. Yes. Because these guys that paint trains now, obviously they have to know where to go and paint them, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But having that knowledge of where the depot they're going to, to paint, you know, they, they, Mm. you know, just one depot, maybe they know 50 Mm. or 70. Yeah. You know? and uh, But they, 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 (laughs) <laughs> all this adds yeah. to 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 a writer's being, you know. Where's a, a, a muralist or or a person that paints a wall yeah. doesn't have that street knowledge? Street knowledge, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm, and that and that's, I guess, where you're coming from. A like you said at the start, you come from a purist point of view. And that well, I'll, I'll be labelled as that. I'm just, I'm just me, you know. I, I don't label myself as anything. Nicest I, guy, I, by the way, nicest guy on the fucking planet. I might add as well. <laughs> this guy's are here, like, hey, yo, you're not gonna get a more nicer dude than this guy. I tell you. But um, you know, human nature is to put put a person in a in a box, right, a pigeonhole, because mm. it's it's everything's got to be pigeonholed for our mind to be labelled. But I mean. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a human being. I'm just another writer, but I, I've, I've got a bit of experience, and uh, and you've got knowledge. And I've, I've I've thought a lot about it over time, you know, and 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 really, from lots of different angles and perspectives, and and uh, what well, perspective of other people's or yours? Yeah, yeah different from, just try and look at it all, you know. Yeah. 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 The culture. As in, you're looking at all as a culture, or yourself. Yeah, both. Both, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, often, sometimes, still question myself of why I do it. <laughs> do you? Yeah, for sure. Do you reckon writers do that a lot? Question why they do it. Uh, well, I guess everyone's different. I think some people probably don't ever do that, and and some people, you know, mm. maybe do. You know, some 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 people. Have questions, and some people just glide along willy nilly mm-hmm. and in whatever direction they're swayed in, and never question anything. Right? I admire them people. <laughs> <laughs> Easy life. It is. It is life. <laughs> you know what we said earlier before we went on. It's like you know, the less shits you, you give with things that you care about, the happier you become. Yeah. Right. No fucks given. No fucks given. <laughs> no fucks given. But you know what happens? You know what happens, Hope, is then all of a sudden you get those one moments where the hip hop in you kicks in and you're like, you're being tested, oh, you're being yeah, challenged. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle style. Battle style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's the hip hop in you. That's what it is, I think. Yeah. And you've been into hip hop from the, from the jump. Like, this has been a. This Do you know what? Um, 
I was first introduced to hip hop by a guy that I was at school with, and I I really didn't know anything about it, and uh, he he was totally into it. He was at lunchtime going off school premises and putting a like a Kango hat on, and mm. and he 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 was into graph actually, and he he actually I, I got into graph a little bit. I was really young, and uh, he really like was like you've got to, you've got to get back into it, you know, and. Uh, Sort of enforced it on me a bit, and I, and, I, and he done me this this mixtape from Mike Allen's National Fresh show, and uh, I listened to it on my tape recorder back home, and I hated it. You just didn't like it. any of it, and I listened to it a few times, and I didn't like it. You, you didn't know? get it. I didn't like, like hip hop. No, yeah. I didn't like it, and uh, I don't actually know how. I think I'll, uh, maybe a few weeks or months passed, and I listened to the. He done me a few tapes, and I listened to it again, and something drew me to it and uh, probably thinking back to it it was probably like horn the horns in some of the tracks you know mm. the the yeah the jazz horns the and the and the, and the yeah. funk that actually drew me into the music and then it grew mm. grew somehow from there i'm so. going to admit something and i think you've just triggered me to recite how i got into it i have to admit when i first heard hip hop i come from like a you know a heavy metal background I was mentioned to you, I didn't, I didn't get it. But my friends were so adamant that this was it. Listen to it more. Yeah. After maybe about four or five goes, I started getting the messages. Yeah, yeah. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. Some, something grew because it's, it's an amazing thing. Mu- this, mu- this, this music's made from other music. Mm. I didn't even realise that for a long time that, that you know, the... The basis of the music was was other people's records, yeah. and and then these guys are rapping over them, and um, they've got messages, they've got comedy, they've got, yeah. they got humour, they've got yeah, like you say, battle, the hip hop battle element. That was always this, my favourite. This in you yeah. know, and then it's like this, you know, and it's like this com- this mad combination. It's like. Yeah, I know. There's nothing else like it, you Still know. Still isn't, which is, and there, and there isn't, and it's and it's certainly evolved, yeah. to, hasn't it? Yeah. You know, it's, it's and it's actually created other sub sub genres yeah. of music. Grown with time, yeah, exactly. You know, look at exactly, <sighs> yeah, man. Of, it's, it's it's quite it's it's mad. There was a dis di, di, disassociation. I we'll call it that with Graph as we went into the mid nineties. It certainly felt like, you know, that Hit Squad era, the Dars Effects, the Red Mans, the, the Smith & Wessons. The, the golden years. Those golden, <laughs> yeah, you know the golden years I'm talking about, people. But they didn't feel like, it felt like, yeah, Graf was there, but it was its own thing. It didn't yeah. feel like it was so, this is an element. It, it, had, yeah. it had its own thing, but it, yeah. it, it wasn't represented in, in the same context as it was in the early doors. See what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Why do you reckon that was? Because it was more street than anything, Graf, wasn't it? Yeah. Like we were saying earlier, you know, that if you want to look at the elements of hip hop, it's like Graf, Graf is, is like probably, it's like the dirtiest element. It's like the most hardcore element. It's like the, the only element that could be illegal really disliked by general people yeah. i mean not, not so much now um but certainly yeah. certainly years ago it was it was fucking hated <laughs> by people you know people hated it you mm. know you know and uh yeah so what was the initial question no no actually <laughs> well it was just the, the disassociation with um with well, the rest graphing. of the elements yeah 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 it's totally i mean as 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 some people argue, I mean, graffiti isn't an element of hip hop. I mean, to me, I got into graph hand in hand with hip hop, mm. uh, and I always considered it an element. But as we as as we know it, I mean, graffiti is uh, is very old, mm. dating back to, to caveman times, you know. And mm. and 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 another another good realization is that um, is that the hip hop I got into was certainly came from New York and, and the States 
and the graph I got into did as well. But actually, after quite a long time, the realisation come that, I mean, I preferred English graph, mm. UK graph, London, mm. London, yeah, London graph, you know, mm. and... Um, and actually, that originated as 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 more commonly known now wasn't actually originated yeah. from hip hop. It was just his own thing, wasn't you it? You know, and, uh, graph graffiti was being done on the underground by by punks, the That's punk right. era. You know, so so we actually we have our own version of graph. I I think mm. in the UK, and it, and I personally believe it. It was started in this city, yeah. and this city to me has always been uh, the place to come. Uh, from a from a young age, um, this area that we are that we are in now was uh, I've come here as much as I could. I've get jumped the train by any means, taking different routes of avoiding barriers and ticket inspectors to be able to get to Westbourne Park, Labrook Grove, to see what I believed was mm. the best graph, mm. and 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 uh, and to me it was like like we were saying earlier, you know. That the West Way and the Pit was to me was like the mm. the, the birth of hip hop. was like mm. you know Mecca or or yeah. however you want to look at it. That, kind of, that's that's how it was to me anyway. Yeah. And I mean, you know, and I, I still I still hold that in some sort of fondness and uh, in some sort of element of a romantic way. Yeah. Even though the Pit's not there anymore, but uh, we and and West Way is certainly. <laughs> changed to say yeah. the least, uh, you know, and the, and the trains have changed. The, you know, the little Mets running past are not what they were, but uh, there's this still an element of that vibe to uh, Trellick and. Uh, mm. I, I, I mean, it holds in my memory. So this, is so yeah, mm. yeah. The pit, again, we were saying just before we started, it's. I think you and me both concluded that it was like being in the heart of the city when you get yeah. into that place. Yeah, totally. Scary, that's, that's haunting what, that's what noise. It, that's what it felt like, yeah. yeah. It felt like uh, it felt like the heart of something, for sure. The heart, the heart of something, yeah. And it had it, like we were saying, it had its own vibration in there. Yeah, totally. The walls emanate. There was an energy there mm. in, in, in that basketball court that's... Not quite describable, but it was certainly almost visible, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. You, I, I, it kind of eluded. Well, it made you feel like, yeah, she went. Shit just goes down here. What are we doing? What am I doing here? Yeah. <laughs> that's my. Yeah. Image, well, there were. Yeah, that was. That's it. I mean, I used to. Uh, we were all aware of the uh, risk of coming there and, and going and entering that, in, yeah. in, entering that realm. But you, you know, pieced in there too, didn't you? Yeah, I pieced you know. in there at quite a young age, actually, um, yeah. with a, a old friend of mine, uh, uh, Fos. Mm -hmm. uh, we we met at Hammersmith Station, and uh, we we had our car paint, and we were brave enough to do a piece in there, which lasted a little while, actually. Considering we were from out of town, as you know, <laughs> <laughs> do you think the scene needs places that because that you know to piece in there is one thing. To be a spectator and walk in and see it, you know that the people that have done their thing in there, had, you you kind of have in your head the lengths that it took to do. Do you need you need places like that surely to make it to, to, to give the kudos that? Well, then that that was a different time. You don't and, think and, you need it now? And, and, I, and, I, and it's like that time, the, the, the pit was like the Hall of Fame. Mm. And now people in, in all sorts of towns and cities across the country and the world say, oh, yeah, this is our Hall of Fame. Well, but that was, <laughs> that was like the Hall of Fame, mm. West, West London Hall of Fame, you know. So you, the people that used to go and paint in there you know, held credibility. Oh, a lot. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They, they already had held credibility to, to do what they were doing in there. Mm -hmm. Now anybody can go paint what they call a Hall of Fame. To me, they're not Halls of Fame. No. No. They're, they're, they're tolerated or legal spots, but 
Mm. The Hall of Fame is gone for me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Gener- it, it's a general the, the general the generalization of the term Hall of Fame. I understand why people use it. That, but I mean that 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 was the Hall of Fame. I think you know. But maybe in people in North Lum- London would argue that that. that, that Tufnell was their Hall of Fame, or East London, and argued that West Ham was mm. their was theirs. But I think the pit was a bit different, you know, for sure. It was a, it was its own yeah ecosystem of yeah ha- in, you know, school and of hard knocks the, yeah, and the stuff that was produced there in the, in in the eighties was legendary, you legendary know, by, yeah. the, by the local guys as well, and even in the, and the nineties as well. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and it. Those photos used to circulate around the country, you know. Mm, I've yeah. still got loads. Have you? Yeah, man, oh, loads. Oh, I died to see Load, it, loads. That was, again, it was just one of my favourite places. The, in that era world. was crazy, especially, yeah. you know, and there was a massive evolution in graph as well from mm. the 80s through the 90s, the style changes and, and, and the people changed. But the, I think the 80s graph certainly held a lot of energy in, in the work, a lot of, um, magic, magic, and energy. There is always a lot of energy in it, and I think certainly that was to do with the, the rest of the, the of hip hop at the time, the popping and the breaking, and, and it had that encompassed in that energy. Whereas in the nineties, I think that the the change of that was because uh, hip hop evolved. You had mm. the nineties era of of, of hip hop. Mm. And you could see uh, shiny suits were popping up, and yeah, yeah. But uh, like there was a mentality change of in, in graffiti style. That I guess if you went to the the pit in the nineties, you could see that the the, um, the change of of, of mentality. Of things were a bit more not like hippie, but uh, there was that element in it rather mm. than that raw hip hop energy in it. It was different. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying because. Uh, the, the genre of acid house was mm. and and Changed what people thing. call happy hardcore now. I don't know. We used to call it rave music, but I mean that was that came about. So that was in graph mm. rather than the hip hop. A lot of people went in. You got to remember went into raving, right? So yeah. that was in it was in graph. So and there was plenty the of people pit, that got into it. The pit that, yeah. in the nineties styles had changed. Mm. Not so early on from from local guys like Info and KTC, but. Um, you know, other people you could see that they were listening to different music because it was it was absolutely visually showing and in graph for sure. Mm. You know, not everyone, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Yeah, and I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. And, and again, you know, look, this <laughs> this is important. To, I've, these are conversations that we haven't had. Do not, these these this very conversation is is new to the, new to the show. Um, reciting Tufnell and yeah, all these other. Amazing spot. Stockwell was another, you know, great spot. I mean, yeah, I don't really you know when Stockwell come about. I don't. I wasn't. I wasn't around for a while. There was. I tell you what, there was. Just thinking back to our old Hall of Fames, I was taken to a spot at Kilburn by the tracks. Kilburn Park by Kil. Round the back of Kilburn Park Station, the right. the, the there was a disused area of buildings that was uh, next to like what we call the Thames Link now. Mm. But it, was, um, well, it might have been called the Thames Link then, but that was a mad Hall of Fame. All yeah, I've eight, been told about graph. this. Yeah. yeah, you've been told about it. Yeah, yeah that was mad. That was some mad pieces there, you know, all that, all 80s pieces. Mm. And I went there in the 90s, actually. Uh, I had a friend in, who lived in Kilburn Park, uh, Robbie, and um, he, him and Fec, his mate Vex took us around there. I actually slept there a couple of times, a bit grim, but missed the last train home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slept there with a breeze block as a pillow. Oh my god! <laughs> Proper hardcore. Yeah. I've heard it all, man. You, you graffiti guys, you, yeah, you well, handle, you handle, you wave the storms sleep, differently. Sometimes you've got to sleep wherever it's necessary. You know? <laughs> Luckily, these days it's a bit more luxurious. <laughs> Of a vehicle to sleep in, but uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn how to drive, kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, we, we, you know, this is all very, you know, nice and cozy. This nostalgia thing. Yeah. And what we're talking about is is the development over periods of years, and now, um, 
I'm I'm kind of the thought that the association with music and graffiti is even more closer than perhaps it was before. I'm playing, thinking maybe social media has a lot to play t to that strength. Do you know what I'm saying? What's the question? It's more. It's, <laughs> it's, it's more of amusing. It's more of amusing. Like I'm okay. thinking. I'm thinking perhaps music, at, music at uh, a, a alongside graph. Yeah. It 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 bears more. It has more of a companionship where before it may it may not have done. Yeah. Something. Something. Uh, something something has activated that connectivity again, and I'm thinking maybe social media is you know the, the platforms that we all kind of know about yeah. Instagrams and stuff. Yeah. Like they 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 add a a, a, a forward push in the scene and and make it correlate with other creative disciplines a lot more based on that medium and platform. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's it's much more open and expansive than it mm. ever has been for sure. Mm. Um, as we know, back in the day, like right, writers in New York, were, a lot of them were into metal. Mm. Um, in this day and age, people listen to all sorts of genres of music. I don't know whether mm. it reflects in their graph or their work or what. I, I, I don't know because it's all so vast now. Mm. Um, and there's trends, isn't there? I was seeing on... I don't know whether it's because I flicked and saw it, you know what I mean, but... And I saw it one too many times. But the trend of those flares in people's tags, it's almost like I see it on a reel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That is totally a social media trend, isn't it? You know what I mean? I don't know where that come from, to be honest. The <laughs> I'm so over the flare, it. The flaring tags, yeah. yeah. So fucking over it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. Each to their own. I guess it's, it was a develop, it's a development of technique with the can. Mm. That originally was probably put in pieces and, and um, people sort of put it in their tags. But, of course, there's lots of different caps and mm. better brands of paint to be able to uh, do better techniques now. But, I mean, in saying that, I say better techniques. I mean, people had, man, people had really, really shit paint mm. in this country. And they were killing it. And done amazing shit with it. Mm. Right? I mean... The, the pit again comes to mind non non stop and all the lead, all the all the legends mm. painted in there, but also like part two in York, you know, um, a whole doing, tight part two, jeez, you yeah. know, re <gasps> doing the realism stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, some people said you know he was the originator of that, and he can tell you himself he he wasn't, but um, he certainly was, was took it to a level and 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 worked on on. That when you talk we've, about we've unsung really heroes, crap man. paint, you know. Yeah. I remember him saying he used just use shit paint, you yeah. know. And he, he really was shit paint, mm -hmm. car plan, <laughs> really bad, duplicate color, really bad paint, mm. like water, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, people done mad shit out of that stuff, mm. amazing shit, man, you're crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think there's space for uniqueness? And I say that because there's yeah, a there's there a is. lot there's a lot going on. Isn't there is there? there is there is space for uniqueness, but I mean, in in one respect, in in graph style wise, everything's been done, but it hasn't because you still you still see things. People may start and be painting one or two years, and they're coming up with new things. You know mm. that maybe it's, okay. It's not maybe to origin. Uh, you know, writers that are a bit older, maybe it's not to their taste, but they're coming up with new stuff. And mm. um, some of it's a bit out there or it's all... Or, yeah, it, traditionally, it's wrong, you know? Um, the letter shapes are not right and mm. stuff like that. But, I mean... Uh, That's subjective, isn't but it? Yeah, it is, yeah, well, it is now. Yeah. It's subjective now. It, it was a point where it wasn't, you mm. know? It, and it, it really, there still is a kind of unwritten law to mm. to uh, good and bad, especially lettering and colour schemes. There is, yeah. there's, there's it's an un, there's an unwritten law to it. I mean, to to some people that paint, the street knowledge side of things is irrelevant to them. But they don't need it. They're just going to go rock a rock a wall, and they don't need it. And perhaps yeah. some people now don't even even understand that element. Yeah. 
But um, these guys that are out there, you know, still doing track sides, you know, yeah. are not always focusing on style, but they're focusing on getting up in spots. Yeah. And they have the street knowledge to get to that spot, to know that line they're painting, to mm. know that depot they're going to. Mm. And uh, that is, a, is, is, is something in itself. I've, I've really kind of believe that uh, a good writer or what what I would think is a good writer has to go through that process and foundation uh, like a prospect for, for me do you understand I, so I don't want to mention any names but people that are getting up and they're, and they're having all that knowledge of of and that, like, what you call street knowledge, you know, and going through that process and maybe they get bagged and then maybe they're going to go and focus on walls and, and then progressing style and pieces on walls or on canvas or whatever, but they've got, they've had that foundation, mm. they've had that experience, mm, mm, mm. you know, of, of um, yeah. you know, of the, of the street knowledge and, and uh, that, to me, holds, it means more, you know. When you meet these people, you know they've been to this place. Mm. You know, I don't want to mention any names of places either, but you know, there's, uh, there's certain places and, and there's places I haven't been for sure that are really high regarded places. You know, to, yeah, I get you. If you know what I'm saying, you, you know, to, to venture into these places and to paint, it doesn't it doesn't really matter what you what you paint even. But you've been there and done it. You've found a way in. You've you've gone through that. I mean that that uh, to have that. Yeah. Exp uh, to have experienced that is is really good, really special, really. Yeah. It means much more to me than some. You know, it's. I don't know. No, I feel you. I feel it every time. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like going through the hardship. Yeah. Because going. <sighs> Right, we mentioned Gloucester Road for one for one example. It's like the hardship of going there and and, and painting the missions. I mean, now it's, it's different than, than, than what it was, but um, you know, a guy, a, a guy, a lad uh, going through that and having that experience and maybe going once or more times. It doesn't matter, mm. it's, but that. And foundation yeah. in there, yeah. You know, and then you see him painting walls and progressing is is much more than yeah. some guy that's not. Like, not everyone can go to this place. It's impossible for every writer. If you live in fucking in Glasgow you, or or Bristol, you can't go obviously to the, this specific place I've just said. But I mean, it's mm. wherever you are. Yeah, you know, it's the intel. Yeah, it's the it's, it's, the, it's the, the initial foundation and work and and that adventure and and uh, you know that adds to that person's not rep not it's not even a repertoire. It's their it's their it's their it's their makeup. You know, it's yeah. their it's their it's their hip hop make or graph makeup of yeah. them. You yeah. know, that's it. Know. It blows my mind. Even you know. The likes of yourself sitting there and explaining it and knowing in my mind, I'm like, yeah, it's fucking I'm right. trying to explain it the right. best I can. But I don't, you're know, done. I don't, know, I don't and, know whether I explain things well or what, but... But, but, but I get it all the time in my mind as a fan when I'm sitting alongside somebody and that feeling of, yo, you know so much and you'll know... No podcast will ever get that kind of that kind Yeah, of I know what you're out, saying, you know but saying? I, at the same time, I know so little... You know, I I, I I I I can meet people. I can meet other writers, and I spend a bit of time with them, and I feel like an idiot, for sure. You know, because yeah. these yeah, man, totally. Yeah. One guy this week I I met. Yeah. I felt like I've you know I'm, I've been in graph a long time. Okay, I've done this, that, and the third, but this, I meet I meet this guy. I spend a bit of time with him. I, I was. Uh, it was an amazing experience. This guy's experienced loads of things I haven't and done mm. loads of things I haven't. And, I, and, and for me, this, meeting this guy, it 
put things in a different perspective again. It's like, fucking hell, what the fuck have I been doing? You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Seriously. I, I get you. Uh, I, and it, you know, and truthfully, mm. uh, that, and it's like, wow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, I really have a lot of respect and time for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and it made me feel humble. I was humbled by this guy, mm. you know? And this guy is not bragging or boasting, but I can tell from just by spending time with him and a few things we do touch upon and what emanates from him. Mm. He doesn't have to tell me. I can feel it. I can see through the, through the, through the, through the presence oh, of this person. It's powerful. Yeah. If you've got the eyes to see, yeah. If you've got the eyes to see, you're blessed, you know. And I hope, man. I don't feel blessed like... Blessed into being humbled. Yeah, and I think you you definitely... I mean, look, this is your podcast, my brother. I'm going to talk yeah, about I'm you. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, like... I'm talking about... You well, don't, you don't actually... You, you're on a different vibration. Like, I don't feel like there's anything... You're humble and you're, 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 you're confident, but you're egoless and you're all the great things that, that make a, 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 a true uh, uh, craftsman, there you go, of what you do, you know. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I've been, I've been a terribly egotistical person in my time, you know, and I can look back at myself and, and think, look back at myself in disgrace, you know, and think, fucking, I was a complete idiot. Because at the end of the day, I've got nothing to be egotistical about. Like I say to you, I can meet other people and I, I know, you know, they, mm. what they've accomplished and what they've done is far, you know, on levels far greater than what I've done. It does, regardless of the, 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 the painting itself. But um, isn't that a part, isn't that about, that's um, part of being the study, isn't it? To do, yeah. And enjoying well, the, this study. Yeah. Being a student, right? Yeah. <laughs> I still love that. Sh I mean, every episode I'm like. Even the master is still the student, really. Yeah. If you if you're realistic about it, you know, we never stop learning whatever we're doing. Yeah. Um, Sports players, yeah, musicians alike. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's the same in anything, isn't it? Yeah. You know, a, a guy that's had a football career for a long time and has achieved legendary, but he's got all this experience. Even if it's it's like Paul Scholes, isn't it? You know. Mm, yeah. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> he's never like a total don. Yeah. He was never like. The David Beckham of Manchester yeah. United, but he always had that experience constantly, and he is, he carries all that, you know, all he's that trustworthy. work, all that work and yeah. experience he's got. You know, he has. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I do know exactly what you're saying. Gives Black you a Josh piece done of a badass tune about Paul Skulls. Have you heard that? <laughs> yeah, here we go. It's fucking sick. <laughs> Banger. Oh, yeah. Big up Black Josh. Hold tight, Black Josh. Um, uh, what was it going to be? Uh, yeah, you, you, you entrust people like that. The, the, I, I love people like that. I love it when... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Workers, but they... Yeah. DJ Craze. If you, not all of you will know who DJ Craze is, but he's a great example of someone that underplays himself, but you know he can go the distance if he starts scratching and going down that road. It fucking destroy. And that's why he's won three times in the world, you know, and, and two and, and a team. It's, it's actually... Sometimes less is more, and you draw back because mm. you know the power of your the velocity and drive that you could throw into something. But you, you just you know yourself. Yeah. Don't well, that's it, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? yeah. Know yourself. Know thyself. Yeah. Is that an ego yeah. thing? You think? Is that? No, knowing yourself is is everything, right? Yeah. You know because. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What else do you know? <laughs> what do you want to know? What do you tell me more? Tell me more about your philosophies on <laughs> on graph right now. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, because you know you're you're one of the few people that I I could lean on for, for articulating. I go what, into fucking like realms of speeches, and different patterns of maybe what people would call philo philosophical things on graph. But at the end of the day, uh. uh uh, 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 now I don't care too much about it. Um, Talk to me about that. Well, when you're younger, you you want to know, you want to see everything. You care in what this person's doing, what that person's doing, and and it's got to a point, I guess, I've just outgrown it, you know. And I don't really care what anyone else is doing. But I still have I have my own relationship with it, and I still paint, and uh, I still like to try and. I still try and 
progress what I'm doing in certain weird little ways. To mm. make, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, so I think that's what keeps me going with it. It's, it's like a create, creative journey in, in, in trying to get better at, uh, at what I'm painting uh, or exploring little different avenues in it. Mm. Um, I don't really... I sometimes I, I paint a piece and uh, I think I've been doing letters a long time since I was a kid and I look sometimes at my letters and I think, oh, man, I still can't do letters. <laughs> oh. like, for real, seriously. Yo. And it's like, it's like a never-ending... I beg to differ. <laughs> it's, it's a never-ending drive to try and do some good letters. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but I really enjoy the colours and, and uh, different techniques with the spray can, obviously, mm. and... Uh, yeah, I'm totally into that, P- putting paint on the surface with spray paint. I love it. Um, but does effects, it become a personal? Effects, it's just personal now, yeah. really. But I, I, obviously I've got a lot of friends that paint and they send me stuff that they do and I really like it when they, they when I get, you know, because I look at theirs and I, and it's totally different mm. to mine. I'm like, fucking, that's mad, you know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. really like to see. And sometimes I look at Instagram and I see different people painting stuff and it's like, yeah. Mm. That's mad, you know. It's, it's uh, with and some some of the European guys are really high standard. Oh yeah, of mm. paintings and some this guy's doing that thing, and it's like there's so many different type, you know. It's it's mad. Um, um the variations in it, and some people don't want to paint beautiful things. They just paint black and white, like look look like New York, throw ups from the seventies. Yeah, I love that too. Actually. I mean, at first I despised that, and I thought, "Fuck the, what the fuck, man!" But now I look at it, and I can see where they're kind of coming from, you know. Mm-hmm. It just they're they're finding something in doing that, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. I like the repetition of of certain yeah, uh, there's, uh, there's writers. Lot, yeah, there's a lot of repetition in graph. Yeah, I Spat mean, Spat kills even, it. You know what I mean? Like, I love his repetition. The way Spat. that yeah, he's terrible, man. What? Yeah, Spat is awful. Get it? You can't see this face right here. I'm telling Sorry. you. I'm only joking. He <laughs> can't see his love. face. <laughs> no, spat. I love yeah, spat, man. This is the, see. This is the beauty of pixelation, right? <laughs> I have to remind myself that you aren't seeing this reaction. Right? <laughs> no, yeah, Shit. spat. Spat is great. Oh, I love his repetition. Yeah. You know, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's he's uh, he's a great example. He's got, he's got a nice. He has a little bit of magic in his work as well, and it's. He's got his solid letters and yeah. you can tell it's him. All day. All day. Yeah. All day. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, funk, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's the funk. That's the, if you get all the components right, as we were saying, get all the right components, all the real ingredients. Yeah, he gets what he does right, for yeah. sure. And there's loads of people like that. Yeah. And they, the, list, the list is endless. And some of, you know, and I look at what I do and I, sometimes I, I really go in on what I'm doing and I, I just add more and more to it. And I look, go on someone else's page and they're, it's simple sometimes so much better you see a slam piece it's like fuck man mm, mm, it's mm. so good mm. you know he's got his method and it's, it's so good and or you know D is a prime example we, we've t- mm, mm, mm. timeless shit timeless yeah. do you think that's because obviously like you know we, we go out to all different <coughs> kinds of people that watch this and um, for, for the uneducated you know, we're all, we're all kind of zoomed out. We see things more as a as a as wide as we can of the scene. Yeah, what you're talking about there is very much zoomed in. Yeah, yeah, it is. Also, I sometimes have a break from graph totally for a week or two, and and then you get a little bit of a fresh perspective. And I don't do it on purpose. I just get into working and 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 just like you know. Hmm. And don't paint for a couple of weeks, and don't look too much at anything, and uh, and you come back, and it's kind of the world's more, full more, again. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. more refreshing. It's more vibrant, you know, mm. than when you're staring, looking at shit all the time. Too much of anything makes you an addict. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Yeah, and that that can be said for a lot of things, and and I would argue that it, it becomes such an insular place where you're constantly. Uh, you're like, yeah, too much of anything is quite addictive, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and how much, when does something become... Variety is a spice and, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. And, um, what do you think of street I art think, and all I that? Think, I does think that, graph, does that add? graph itself, this is what's always in, 
uh, infused me about graph is, is, is to, especially when I was younger, a uh, younger writer, it never got boring because, you know, I'd have a little few days where I'd be practicing. I mean, I tried photorealism, you know, hmm. just totally fucking inspired by it, like Pops and Part 2 and was trying to do that. And then, you know, something would come over me and I'd go out bombing, I'd do a track walk, you know, and that, there was so much variety in it. Then you'd go racking and get paints and then you'd do a piece and then be looking at mm. watching a watching a depot back then. And there was so many... Fulfilling Obviously areas. Obviously, I don't do all these things now. I'm older, but... No, no, retrospect, um, yeah. Yeah, retrospect. Um, there, was, there was so much variety in it that mm. I, never did, I never did a lot else, you know. Um you know what I find interesting about um, the graph scene? Elements within an element. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the fact that... Actually, Not that in beatboxing, no. No. Well, no, here's the thing with beatboxing, is I know that I can... Go, back in it again, we are retrospecting on this one. <laughs> it's going out and, you know, performing to, you know, 4K people, for instance. I know instantaneously when I beatbox to that amount of people that I create them, that ripple effect of, right, that'll get me another gig. And there'll be a bigger gig. Do you know what I mean? Like all the same, same similar consistency. Like when you saw us at Bug Jam. That, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. It's that kind of desired effect. But with Graph, uh, which is, oh, I have so much more um, appreciation for, particularly in this day and age of, of the way people consume technology and information, yeah. is you guys would, from the smallest, from the smallest tag to the biggest layer, piece in a layup to the, uh -huh. to, to the biggest wall to, yeah and it was a real it's a it, it's what they would call a slow burn you know and then you know you get these really famous graffiti artists now um and regardless of how they got famous it's like it's still taken those incremental steps which take a long time compared to a performer or something yeah it's mad yeah and you say that i mean i, I remember I've, I've certainly met graffiti people that have picked it up really quick um, years ago in our, in our, in our own crew, as a lad, I mean, we were all maybe 20, 21 and he was 15 and, uh, he got so good, so quick, it was unbelievable. And, oh, really? the, and he sort of overtook a lot of people in our crew, you know? Um, wow. Yeah, he was that, really, that happens, really it? took to it like a duck to water. Um, yeah, amazing. So some people... I think do pick it up really quick, and other people never really get get to get it on a style element, you know. Um, yeah, people get into it for different reasons. Don't yeah, they? yeah. Well, there's all that as well, right? Yeah, yeah. They get into it. Yeah, I certainly got into it for my own reasons. It took me away from my home life, and mm. the the same thing. Many people have said it gave me. A feeling of being somebody when I really felt like I was a piece of, yeah. uh, not piece of shit in a in a in a oh, I'm a horrible guy, but very low self esteem when I was younger. You know, no, really, I can relate very, with it. Very very shy. And I can very, relate with it. Uh, low self esteem and um, I wasn't nurtured properly growing up and and uh, and uh, yeah, it gave me um, that was. That that was the thing, but also in, incorporated with that was this mad art form, you know, mm. which which was infusing and fucking inspiring and fucking all these other elements, you know. Yeah. So and the adventure and the adventure. The adventure was has always been a big part for me, mm. you know, and still is. I still want to go and adventure mm. loads of places I haven't been, mm. you know, especially around the world, outside the UK, and uh, obviously we're limited. At this time to doing that, and obviously, if, if you if you haven't if you're not financially comfortable, you can't. You're a bit limited there, but um, yeah. you know, mm. yeah. But that's certainly what I'd like to do. Yeah, mm. Advent, more adventure. Yeah, yeah, man. Adventure, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine the, the adrenaline rush of any. I mean, yeah. Can you imagine adrenaline rush when we all get to go? Out? It's yeah. just going to the places as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm, I always feel like I meet cool new people. I feel like it's an it's a, an accomplishment in itself. It's like yeah, you know what? Because next time I'm in, I'm in that borough, or I'm in next time I'm in that city or country, I know I know I'm in safe hands, or I know I can rely on. You know, it's like connective. 
stop. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Making connections. I yeah. love all that yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, you can meet some great people, can't you? Mm. I certainly have done. Really, actually, sometimes I think about it. I'm really blessed, and the people, some of the people I met in Graph, I'm blessed. I've cherished, you know, mm. totally. You know, okay, so there's others maybe a, a bit undesirable or whatever, but still. I still have love for them people as well, yeah. in some, on some level. Yeah. You know? You've got to love them. I do see the good in people, and sometimes I'm told it's uh, not a good trait, but I still do. Mm. I still I see good in everyone. Yeah. I've always been like that. You know? It's really important, isn't it? <clears throat> in, a, in a world that, and not just graph, in a world where egos and things can be misconstrued or, you know, as people... Uh, the one thing I don't want to be is misunderstood. Yeah, do, but, do, do you, but do you know what? If you if you if you're I think if you're a progressive person and you, and you and you are evolving in your own life and you and sometimes you can come across someone and people say oh he's a complete cunt he's a I don't know I know we're live but is this that you know and he's not liked but if you look at that person and you've grown yourself um, and evolved yourself you can see that person you can see the you can see that that person is capable of growing out of that. And I think... Yeah. I think it's the best thing any one human can do for another is to, is to wish that for that person, to grow out of that, mm. to grow out of it and see it for what it is and, 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 and change. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know exactly I mean, some what you're pe- saying. You know, not all people are progressive and evolving, but I mean... You have to be able to see that outside if you can, of if you the, can, the... If you've experienced it yourself, the next person is capable of that, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a bit, you know, it's a, I think it's a reali- reality of, of things rather than, uh, you know, than seeing someone just an, an idiot. I mean, some people are idiots. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's no two ways about it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, uh, everyone's got this thing in them, this mm-hmm. life force that, 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 that uh, can be tapped into, and realizations can be made. And also, and what's progression important? Progression can be yeah, made. Progression can be made. And it's gone away from hip hop again, but it is, it is hip hop. It is life. Hip hop, yeah. Hip hop is life. Life is hip hop anyway, so it's all the same. It certainly is. To, to, to us and many other people. Yeah. Um, and we all shouldn't be the same. We there's a fruit well, bowl. There's a fruit bowl yeah. of friends. Um, and I think, you know, It'd be pretty mundane. Yeah. Planet. If yeah. we were all the same, and and it, and it's, if you want to relate that into graph, it's like people have all got their tastes and preferences. But if everyone painted the same thing, you know, it'd be pretty fucking boring. Dry man. For sure, if everyone made a, a, a hip hop tune with the same beat and the same bars, and you know, it's yeah. gonna, you know, you've got it's got to be different, right? It has to be different. You, know, you can't just have one fruit. It's got to be yeah. variety. You know, this is a... yeah, and that's what that that's <coughs> that really is the ecosystem of graphers as it yeah. As it so stands. so yeah, that that you know, mm. um, you're asking what, what I was think about street art and stuff. I like some of it. Yeah, street art. Yeah, yeah. Give, give, yeah. give me, give me your accounts on that. I'm being intrigued because, because, like you say, an all rounder. Yeah, some of it I like. Yeah, some of the art's fantastic. Some of the messages is great. I think because as graffiti writers, you know, we're mainly about getting up and uh, self promotional, uh, and even we have a crew or several crews that we promote. You know, and like we're in a little army or some shit. But what happens in Graf? And I've, we've got an amazing platform for a voice. Mm, mm. And uh, it's not really used that much. But the street art element that's come about, however it's come about, I mean, you know, obviously everyone knows Banksy and a lot of writers don't like Banksy or whatever. Personally, I think it's fucking genius, you know? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, I personally think that, uh, well, my, my point of view is like he's he's helped him and his street art thing has helped Graf be more acceptable to the general public. It's mm. give us more, it's eased things up for us, mm. you know. 
it's eased the restriction a little bit. And as I was talking to you earlier about um, the reactions, especially for, <laughs> on railways, you see, you know, like I say, the, the reactions on railways years ago, especially underground, was, it was a disgrace. It was mm. disgusting, mm. the graph. Now you see railway staff taking pictures. Some railway staff have got Instagrams, you know? Where they... And now I've, I see one guy who's a railway worker and he just posts graph. There's, lo there's loads like it. You That's know, amazing. on trains that come into his depot, he takes photos. They love it. That's but this is this is a sh total shift in consciousness, you know, For that's sure. come about. And street art has helped push that along and make it more acceptable. Yeah. You know, and not only that, you've got generations of, of people now that uh, do these jobs that, that were that were younger and probably liked it. So mm. and they still like it as their as their adults. So Yeah. We've got a shift in consciousness there, you know, which is yeah. great. And we have to remember zooming out once again, they we're talking about a, a culture that, you know, is forty, fifty years old and some. You know, these the, the the narrative, the story is only going to ever evolve. In it, 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 you're pushing against a tide, you will you'll eventually break through, and these this is a part of that breakthrough, isn't it? Yeah, it's a total change. How cool is that? I think it's great, man. Yeah, because uh, you know, um, even even my dad and he, and his wife uh, several years ago. And I was really concentrating on work. I was still painting a little bit. And um, I remember going around to see him and they said, oh, don't you do your art anymore? You know, because the Banksy and the street art mm. thing had become so popular. Mm. And they, they were like, you should do it. Yeah, they yeah, were telling yeah. me, like, years ago when I was younger, getting so much trouble yeah. for having paint and, <laughs> and constantly drawing and... Oh, like yeah. being an outcast to the family, and years later, the, 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 these people are telling me, "Why don't you do this anymore? Do you still do it? You should do it. Mm. Why don't you know? Make, make mm. you know, it's like hello, only so twenty years late. So yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> like there you go. That's what that's done yeah, yeah. to to people. It's reached, yeah. it's reached different classes of people, yeah. and you know, made yeah. them aware. And it's, and it's, it's, it's like a new energy, isn't it? The street art side to it. It's like, it's like a new energy that's yeah. reached a fast, like a lot more people Yeah. on different levels. So even fucking Lord Felt sitting in his fucking mansion, it's got, a, you know, something by, you know, yeah. the, well, the president's wife having Ben Ayn on the, on, yeah, yeah, in the yeah. white house, Mad, you know, yeah. or, or whatever, however that come about, you know, and, that shit is amazing, if you ask me. Oh, bro, honestly. You know, okay, the, the writer on the street <clears throat> was, is still ha maybe hated, you know, maybe the, the guy going to commute down the Jubilee line and seeing force everywhere mm. on every available surface is, is not happy, but he likes... Okay, force. You well, know, but... Um, I, think, I think I'm with you because uh, when... <clears throat> even the most hardcore writers, there is now a, a place... Where, in in the scene, with the way that street art has been embraced and the way graffiti is being um, digested on platforms and visibility, there's a lot yeah. more of it around. Yeah, I think the stories unfold. The more you see these characters on the on the track sides or on the walls and etc., the more you feel like they're a part of your community yeah they're a part of yeah. your life yeah and that's what makes yeah. the stories yeah because you it's yeah. like it's like music's the soundtrack but when you see a graffiti piece and visually and it's there and it's always there it feels like home well normally this is this is another mad thing isn't it commuters traveling to work by the underground or, or commuter trains if a name is up enough and it's repetitive Without without even realizing it, subconsciously they're they're seeing it, mm. and they they are seeing it, yeah. you know, and and it's like that. That's mad, isn't it? Mad. Don't you think? You know, it's like subconscious. Like David Day from David Blaine just, shit, or whatever his name. Yeah, is, yeah. It? I mean, you know, I mean, when I, I remember I remember being younger and riding the lines and just being absolutely fucking blown away of how many diets I'd see. Oh, that's right. You know, just like 
I've just couldn't believe this guy was know. like done. The, you know, every, yeah, 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 yeah. Just you know, and you travel like I travel like three quarters an hour on one light on on one tube line somewhere far out, and he'd been there as well. Mm. And it's like so, and so what I'm trying to say is like, you know, I'm looking at that. I, I was a a writer, and uh, and uh, you know, I was obviously. A train journey for me. I was just fixated on on, on, on graph, you know. I'd still do that, you know. But these normal people that also get the trains do see yeah. it, and it it makes an imprint onto yeah. them, you know. Whether they know well. it or not, yeah, 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 yeah. Even on a subconscious level, for sure. They, you know, without realizing they're seeing it, they're looking at they they you know, part mm. of them is seeing it for sure. You know yeah. what's you know what, and you really you hit a nail on the head earlier when when because my my dad, right, bless him, he's. Yeah, you know I mean, he knows. He knows. Like, I like that stuff. He knows. I like that stuff that he knows that I've grown up, grown up with, right? Yeah. But and he'll say Banksy. He said Banksy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, Jesus. Like, even my dad knows what Banksy is. That's a, you know. Uh, uh, he went up to London. Um, I think he went to see a football match or something. I'm not a big football fan. I'm not, I don't know too too much about. Well, so I don't know anything about my dad's football uh, preferences. He went up there, and the second thing that came out of it, but never mind the game. He turned around and he was like, "Is that graffiti? Why do they do it like that?" Yeah. Now it's now <laughs> that coming from a seventy-year-old man, right? Yeah. Okay. But it was a genuine question. It was a genuine question, yeah. and I felt it most because my dad knows who Banksy is, and he wants to know what the motive is behind the yes, rest that's of it. it. Why? 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 I would never have why had that conversation it? with him ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's it. it oh, has so but you it. think Banksy has made him notice it or yeah, and, and ask the question? I yeah, I really do. Yeah, but it's a good question. Why do they do it? And there's loads of different reasons people have for doing it, right? You know, like I said to you, low self-esteem to be somebody. It's it's fucking great fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I daring. Bet. It's adventure. It's and some. You know, in in yeah, it's, it's like, famous it's five like, shit. It's like yeah, yeah, going it out and doing it. It is, yeah. yeah, for sure. You know, and there's a little gang of you, and you go out together. Where are we going tonight? We'll go here. Let's go. That no, that spot. I've I've seen this spot. We'll go there. You know, mm. how do we get there? You know, where well, we go this, that, and the third to get there, and then we have got to climb up. And there, don't try know? this at home, kids. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> come on, come on. We're talking about something that's yeah, pretty. but that's that's it, isn't it? You know? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, for real. It's yeah. all. It's, it's Do you know what? Recipe. I was, uh, <laughs> when uh, some years ago, I was quite active myself, and um, uh, on one particular line into London, and um, and I was a bit of a social cat where I lived, and I always go around the pubs, and people would know who I was. And uh, one day, I walked into a pub, and I went to the bar and ordered a drink, and there was a a guy. I just knew him. He was a carpenter, chippy, mm. and uh, we just maybe met on a job. And he said to me, "All right." I said, "You're right, mate." He goes, "I fucking hate all that shit when I go to football." I said, "What?" He goes, "All that shit down the train." He and he was really like aggressive about it. Yeah, he was oh, really, he really meant it. He was like, mm. I, "I absolutely hate it." He goes, especially when you get to Alexandra Palace, Hornsey's everywhere. It's just, I just hate it. He's, you know, and he was like, you know, he, he really was passionate about wow. it. Wow. And then he said to me, but some of the stuff on your page, <laughs> and at the time it was Facebook, and I actually I never put any of my own graph on mm. Facebook. I'm not even on Facebook anyway, but back then I was. And um, other, other mates who were just new, just mates that, you know, I've uh, grown up with, but mm. they they didn't they didn't write or anything. They went into graph. They would tag me if a bit of graph come up on Facebook. <laughs> Straight and the tag timeline. me in it. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, and I'd yeah, be yeah. like, oh mate, leave it up. Yeah. But he kept seeing these people tag me and stuff, and thought I was doing all these self photo realism <laughs> yeah. and shit. And he was like, some of that stuff is amazing, mate. I'll take my hat off to you. See, look, what, yeah. but actually, what I was doing was the stuff he was seeing, you know, on, on, on the train line, which he hated. But well, I never told him that, you know, but yeah. I find it interesting, people's... You know, I, I can't get... I wouldn't want to see Graf in any other light. 
I want to know it's raw. Yeah. The element, the risk element, ha- yeah. has to have existed, and yeah. a- as an organ, as a whole thing, you know, to yeah. just have like murals. Yeah, uh, and, that's, that's yeah. the thing I like about. It. I like getting on a train and seeing, seeing these guys. They still do it, you know. Mm. They're, they're up, they're up on these spots, and they're, you know, and I totally feel that. Mm. You know, totally. I, I just totally feel, feel yeah. it. I know they've what they've gone through. Maybe they're, they've got shit going on in their lives and maybe they're not having even such a great time going out and doing it always. I understand. I, you know, but you know, they're, they're, yeah, I like... So you know where they're So what you're saying, I, I like the rawness. Yeah, me yeah. too. I like, I like, I like seeing the dubs and the throw-ups and the, and, uh, the reaches, you know? Mm. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's just, yeah. for me, it's like, that's... that's. also like to see a banging colour piece on the track side do, as yeah. well, if, it, if and when you see one, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's Don as well, going past the fucking little quick gallery, you know, of, mm. of, of bangers. It's like, yeah. That just yeah. Oh, sends me in a... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, real, isn't it, you know? I love it when there's it's just real. like back to back to and back. And I'd rather to see a photo realism thing on us on us on the track side. Because then you know rather how much the, risk and elements. Yeah, are going yeah. Into because it. then it's, it gives it more. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You do it in the dark. Then got, that's a whole other. You've got to take cover from traffic. You know, passing traffic, and you can still pull something like that off. Then. Yeah, that's that's sick. I'm still blown away when I see high levels. Of, of burners like on track side yeah be, be, be because of that reason it's like yo yeah. like the time that's not a lot of time how did you do it? how how you know yeah. what i mean like that's still it's a bit different doing it in the dark and that little yeah. bit of pressure you know because there's there's always obviously but as a kid i used Actually. to do it and i still think to myself <clears throat> why do i why do i look at it in that way why why I've had some amazingly peaceful experiences on the tracks. Have you? Yeah, because it's like, you know, it's just, it, you know, uh, when I was going on the tracks, so some of the experiences I had were so peaceful, you know. Mm. It's so quiet and and everything stopped running. It's just so quiet and peaceful. It's like, I guess it's in the middle of the night. Most people are asleep and... In a lot of ways, in the middle of nowhere, yeah, and I then, guess. And, and, and then people are painting pieces like in, in that, in that, and that's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, then, and then actually, you know, some of these guys I know as well go in busy times when there's loads of traffic flying past and they're doing a piece. And they're fighting against you know, the tide. They're yeah. painting for a minute and lying down up for a minute, paint, you know, and achieving stuff like that. I, yeah, mean, I can't tell that's you, man. Sick, yeah, you know? you've got to hand it to. Yeah, it's dope as fuck. Yeah. Love it. Something, you I love know. it. I love it. I love it. I as love an observer. Seeing it, you know, and I remember someone saying to me years ago, like 2004. 2005, our graph's finished now. It's all about walls, productions, blah, blah. And I remember listening to that and take and believe in it, you know. And here we are, 2021. Everything's battered. You see, fucking Just, on the internet, there's, yeah. there's trains running every day. <laughs> there's, there's, the tracks are battered. Yeah. Or, you know, and it's like, Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? Love Pe- it. People are sending the pictures. They're sending the f- videos in. Yeah. You know, the, people are as proud to have had it on their phone. Uh-huh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another thing, right? That's a, it, it, the, they're, people, they're the conduits. People that are not even involved. Yeah. People that don't paint are seeing a, are seeing a, a running train or, you know, underground traffic and videoing it off their phone and Just sending yeah. it to graph pages or yeah. put it, posting it on their own and it gets ripped. And, and this is how much more accepted it is. Yeah. You know, I think that's I think that's gone, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone. It's 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 beyond it's beyond anything that it was. Now it's it's yeah. we're in. I feel like it's into its next phase. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's changed. It's exciting. It's changed. Like, huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess the next phase is a way of putting it. It's it, it's changed with technology. Technology's mm. changed it, and and yes, it's still in its rawest element. Mm. You know, there's some of these guys still going out. Knowing plots where to where to raise raise paint yeah. and and pens to practice with and some people are still in that raw element of it and technology hasn't changed no. in that respect but yeah. in others yeah yeah it has Pe- things are getting recorded right yeah. documented by 
Hello. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's mad. It's a good time yeah, to be. Uh, yeah, to yeah. Be a part it's still, of it. it's still good. It's uh, though it's lost. In some ways, it's lost a lot. It's gained. Uh, it's gained more as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And on that note, my dear friend, <laughs> we're out. Smashed it. <laughs> Didn't matter, like hope inside. What a pleasure. Yeah, peace. Yeah. Peace to all. I think we set the world to rights, my friend. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Comment below. Big shout out to Hope. Hold tight. All original crew has been watching. Spat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to you lot. Don't forget, sharing is caring, all right? Television app is up and at them, all right? So get on a free download. We out like it was out of fashion. Stay lucky. Don't talk to any strange ones. We out like it was out of fashion. Stay lucky. Peace.